Earth. Can you imagine a planet so primitive? That beauty planet is the only thing that lies between you and utter control of the universe! It would amuse me if it were to destroy itself. We shall give them the power of Energy X. Seek out the greediest, basest, and most corrupt of their number. To these wretches, we shall give power beyond their imagination. Behold the dawn of Energy X. Who could have foretold the perils it would bring? Who could have foreseen the heroes it would inspire? What if I were to steal the Energy X? I could travel to Earth and find worthy men and women to endow with its power. They could stand up to the monstrosities Lord Dominion intends to create. Statue of the Minuteman! Glowing! Power! Surging into me! Ah! I am growing younger! Body bursting with strength! Ay, caramba! I'm lifting up into the sky! I have the power to control flame! I've been given these incredible powers for a reason! From this day on, I shall fight to bring us together. Such is the vow of El Diablo. I will devote my life to finding a way to cure myself. Until that day, the world shall only know me as the Man Bot. Like an alchemist converts base metals into gold, you will use my powers to convert wrong into right. Such will be the work of the alchemist. I can burrow, climb walls, and I've been given incredible strength and agility. It must be the ants. Liberty Lad is on the sea. They call me Eve. Unit designated microwave. Bullet ready for duty. For where there is law, there is order. Meet Man of War. And don't forget a sidekick, the Sea Urchin. Together, these heroes fight evil as Freedom Force. For freedom! Never before has such a hall of heroes been assembled. For if they had fallen, so would fall the Earth itself. But such glory comes not without a price. I must remain here to hold open the time portal. Farewell, my comrades. Farewell, my friends. There will be future challenges. Meet them as you have met this one, as heroes. Freedom Force has mourned their lost comrade, mourned him, and moved on. But for one of their number, the past is not so easy to forget. Hey fellas, come and look at this hot little number. Plus she's got superpowers too. Holy cats, it's the alchemist. What's she doing here? Peaches and cream, how did I get here? I'm smack dab in the middle of Patriot Park. Alchemist, this is Minuteman. Have you located Manbot yet? Manbot? But he's, what do you mean? There's no time to waste, girl. If you don't find Manbot soon, all could be lost. What? Minuteman, I don't understand. M Manbot's gone, trapped in another dimension. There's no time for your girlish fantasies, soldier. Get a move on. Find Manbot. But he's gone. He sacrificed himself to save us. How can you not remember? Minuteman? Minuteman! But no one answers the plaintive pleas of the stunning sorceress. And so she does what heroes do. She acts. <laughs> What's the matter, Chiquita? Aren't you in the mood for some hot Diablo passion? Ricardo, you'll burn that poor girl alive. Aye, if it isn't the Ice Princess. Since you never seem interested in old Ricardo, maybe Diablo can warm you up. <gasps> you saved me! Miniman will take care of you. You haven't paid your freedom tax, citizen! But I haven't got that much money. Perhaps you'd prefer a plunge to the pavement. Shaking down civilians isn't like Minuteman. I've got to stop him. Some powers have unique effects. Use your repulsion attack to knock Minuteman to the ground. Feel the pain. How can this be? Get away from him, you witch. Liberty, lad. What happened? Did school get out early today? Save your jokes for your evil-doing friends. 
I'm here to finish what Minuteman started. I give. Manbot's at the corner of Third and Golden, but even with him, you'll never beat the rest of us. Alchemist, I'm trapped. You must free me. Manbot! But I thought you were gone, trapped in the Celestial Clock. There's no time to waste. Hurry! Peaches and cream. Long thanks, Alchemist. We have to be on guard. My pleasure, sugar. But what's going on here? It looks like Freedom Force has gone crazy. And how did you... They were never your friends. Sooner or later, you'll realize that. Come on, Metal Man. They may get on my nerves sometimes, but... First, we have to stop their evil plans. We can figure out what caused them to go crazy later. Peaches and cream. Why are our friends trying to kill us? We've got to get to the Freedom Fortress. The answer lies within its walls. We made it. But what's happened? Has the whole world gone crazy? No, not the whole world, sugar. Just you. Ted, what? Why are you doing this? Why? Alchemist. Alchemist, this is Mentor. Mentor? What's happening? You seem to be trapped in what appears to be half nightmare, half psychic vision. I am here to lead you out. I will attempt to stop the vision in process. There, the vision is halted. Now all that remains is to bring you back to a waking state. Wait, before you do that, what did you mean by psychic vision? Given the supernatural nature of your dream, one has to wonder if you are not experiencing a form of rudimentary precognition. You want to try that one again in good old English? There's no way to tell for sure, but your dream might foretell of a possible future. A future where you are betrayed. Betrayed by Freedom Force. But... Ah! Get did somebody order Mexican? Weird around here lately, you know what I mean? With everything so quiet and all, so many team members off the active roster, not enough bad guys to smack around. I hear Mano was even thinking of sending Sea Urchin to summer camp. You know I was thinking of paying a visit to Shadow at the Patriot Penitentiary. She might be a psychopath, but ay Maria, does she fill out that cat suit? I am not in the mood for juvenile humor, Diablo. Why don't you take your fiery wit somewhere else? We all miss that big team can, Pequita. You don't understand. How could you? Attention, Freedom Force! Everyone to the ready room! Everyone to the ready room! Duty calls. Now let me get this straight. This pozo comes in off the street, and all of a sudden we're headed to Cuba? Because the government can't do their job? This bozo happens to be the deputy director of the CIA! How dare you! Now, now, Minute Man. I can understand Diablo's reluctance. After all, if I had been the one who put Nuclear Winter and Time Master away, I'd be pretty angry too. But the truth is, Winter's been broken out of mega security by an unknown confederate. And he's taken Time Master with him. Although Time Master remains in temporal stasis, there's no telling what Winter has planned for him. And for all we know, they've enlisted Castro and his goons in their assistance! After all, both Winter and that Tin Pop Dictator take their marching orders straight from Moscow! I've sent out a global psychic beacon to the inactive Freedom Force members. I fear it will take some time for them to return to active service. For now, the burden lies on us. Be prepped and on board the Freedom Flyer in ten minutes! Saddle up, Freedom Force! We're heading to Cuba! Ay, so much for my dinner date! How will Susie, Carmen, and Maureen ever forgive me? By the flying flag of freedom! Some kind of beam has frozen the Freedom Flyer, and I'm trapped in this infernal ice! You'll need to go into action without me until I can free myself! Freedom Force! 
Nuclear Winner's goons have infiltrated the base. We try to counterattack, but he froze half the division with some kind of freezing machine. We're completely pinned down. There's no time to waste, team. You've got to find the source of that beam and take it out. I'll monitor your progress from here. But Lights of Ryzen! Turning up For the heat! will teach you! Take this, running dog! Lights of Ryzen! I am no longer Not enough for you? No more! I will talk! Fried bad guy coming up! No time to talk. We've got to stop that freeze ray. Take this! See you, amigo. Soup's on. You did it! Now the U.S. flyboy should be able to drive off the bombers. We must talk with that Bolshevik underling. He might have vital information. I will not talk to you, you capitalist fool. The Domain is not a capitalist society. In fact, its powers rest with a charismatic dictator known as Lord Dominion, who... Ah, uh, Mentor. Oh yes, well, one as weak-minded as you need not wish to tell me what I need to know. But tell me you shall. Ah uh, yes, apparently their leader is one known locally as La Roja. That means the red one. Yes, Diablo. I speak 834 languages, of which Earth Spanish is one. This red's base of operations is about 50 miles inland from here. It should be easy to... Ah! Enough of your parlor tricks, you alien fool. Now I shall use your own pathetic powers to destroy you. Mentor! Mentor, what's wrong? Dead man walking, shouts the guard. And although blood still courses through the veins of the man condemned this day to die, although his heart still pumps at a regular rate, Nathan Graves is dead indeed. Dead since the day one year ago when Nathan Graves' world came crashing in on him. Oh, Nathan, I hate it so when you leave in the morning. Patriot City is so big and dangerous. I feel like every time you leave, I may never see you again. There, there, Buttercup. Nothing's gonna happen to me. You promise? Cross my heart and hope to... Nathan Graves, don't you dare finish that sentence. <laughs> I'll see you tonight, and then... Hey there, Big N. Here's our new neighbor, Bill. I don't like the way he looks at me. With a girl as beautiful as you, who in their right mind wouldn't look? Later that night... That's strange. Jenny never leaves the door open. Jenny, are you... Jenny! My God! No! No! Who could have done this? Who could have... Freeze! It's the police! Nathan Graves says nothing as the police take him away. He says nothing as the gun is found. He says nothing when he is told his fingerprints are on the pistol's hand grip. He says nothing as they come for him on this cold, cold morning. He says nothing as they strap him into the electric chair. And when they ask Nathan Graves if he has any last words, he says nothing. Excuse me, that's my seat. Right up front. Nathan sees the face of Bill, his neighbor and the man who called the police on that fateful night one year ago. And on that face, he sees a bitter smile. He's always lurking around. I don't like the way he looks at me. Good God, can it be? But his words are muffled by the rough fabric of the execution hood. Wait, stop the execution. It's him. He killed my darling. Good grief! Some kind of strange energy is at the circuit breaker. It's surging into the prisoner. Uh, no, no, no. 
He's gone! He can't be. We can't lose another. You fools understand so little of death. It's Tombstone. His spirit has simply been displaced by the witch. But he remains amongst the living. Mentor, return to your body. I shall guide your astral form to its rightful home. Old friend, are you? Just fine, Minuteman. Thanks to the timely arrival of our teammate. Welcome back to Freedom Force, Tombstone. I require neither your thanks nor your welcome. I serve a darker master. So how did you spend your sabbatical, Tombstone? Performing a musical comedy? Raising puppies? Animals wither in my presence. Time does not allow for your witticisms, Alchemist. We'll need to organize a strike team to infiltrate the secret base of this red. For she is the key to locating Nuclear Winter and Time Master. Beware, Freedom Force. Nuclear Winter may have used Time Master's Energy X powers to heighten his own. There's no telling what you might be up against. So what else is new? We know Red's base must be around here somewhere. Perhaps the locals could be of some assistance. Be careful, Freedom Force. The ambient temperature in your area is much lower than it should be. A sure sign of nuclear winter's influence. You'll get nothing from me, Freedom Force. Comrades Winter in October will see you dead. Hey, caramba, I will tell you anything you want. Why have not comrades Winter and October come to my rescue? They leave their fellow traveler to the likes of you. Now don't go all weepy on me. Why don't you tell El Diablo where this red person is? The entrance is a mystical tree north of town. It's only visible to those who know he's there. And now that he has made us aware of the tree's presence, its spell no longer works to hide it from our eyes. This man speaks the truth. Bah, what do I care if I led you to my mistress? Her pets will make a meal of you before this day is out. That didn't sound very friendly. Beware, team. The legends dictate that the roar of the Shirail can sap the strength of the strongest man. Freedom Force, pay heed to those four mystical hands. They hold the power which protects the entrance to the base. Destroy them at once. My Lenin's field! Capitalists will not stop until they destroy Red October's protection! Red October. So now we know the name of our nemesis. And with a name like that, surely she is a sinister sidekick of Nuclear Winter himself. Right! You will ruin the day you cross the paths with Red October. Loyal servant of Nuclear Winter and people of the Motherland! 
Red October could be a valuable source of information about Nuclear Winter's plans. You must defeat her and induce her to reveal their perilous plot. I will talk. Okay, Red October, the game's over. What's Nuclear Winter doing with Time Master? Over? The game is just beginning, you pathetic patriot. Just you wait for the surprises prepared for you. Time is running out for you, Freedom Force. And for pathetic country you've sworn to protect. So says Red October. Mentor, where did she go? She has teleported deep inside her base. You must pursue her, Freedom Force. With her and her frozen master in control of time, master, we fail to stop them at our peril. It has been five long months since Johnny Al-Hajani was taken from her home in the heart of Arabia. Five long months locked in a room in Patriot City, imprisoned by the cruelty of her own father. But Johnny is used to living in such a world, for her father is Sheikh Al-Hajani, a man who believes only in power, power and gold. And so Johnny awaits her fate, an arranged marriage in a strange land with a man she has never met. But while Johnny can be kept a prisoner, the light of the sun cannot. And as the glowing rays touch her face, Johnny feels compelled to go to the painted over panels of her only window. To the tiny scratch she has made in the glass, which has become her only portal out of the darkness. And through this portal, Johnny cannot help but gasp as she stares at the stunning colors that swirl around her adopted home. Oh no! That's father! He mustn't see me at the window. Why have you not prepared yourself for dinner? Tonight is the night you'll meet your betrothed. And I better not hear any of your jokes or gambles. Bin Katami is not interested in your frivolity. Ah, God willing, you'll be his problem soon, and not mine. <laughs> Johnny. Johnny? Are you all right? Oh, Mustafa, I cannot do this. How can I marry a man I do not love? How can I leave you, my only friend? Is there no escape from this fate? <laughs> oh, my dear, sweet child. Perhaps there is. What do you mean? Come with Mustafa, quickly. An hour passes, and when her father returns to claim her, it becomes clear what Mustafa has planned for his despondent charge. Johnny! Johnny! Why are you not ready? Pinkat Tommy is waiting for you. You best not embarrass me, child. By the beard of the prophet, where is she? I want her found, and found now. And bring that old fool Mustafa to me. Moments later, at the exit to the compound. Mustafa was right. This is the way out. At last, my chance to see the stunning sights and fabulous colors of this glorious world. No, please do not hurt me. I am an old man. Talk, you old goat. Where is my daughter? I shall have either her hide tonight or yours. No. Father seeks to punish Mustafa for my actions. All I need to do is open this door and I shall be free. So, you won't talk, eh? All right then, man. Finish him. Father, stop this at once! You dare to order me? Now, you shall both pay for your insolence! And as the furious father moves in to strike his defenseless daughter, the sky is filled with a strange light. Johnny gasps as an alien canister filled with a strange substance smashes through the skylight and breaks over her head, washing her with an enigmatic energy. An energy known as X. What is this? Someone put a stop to this madness. <laughs> Your wish is my command. What? My striking cane! What have you done to it? I believe I've turned them into begonias. Or are they orchids? <laughs> Either way, aren't they lovely? Whoever you are, you'll pay for what you've done to my daughter. Get her! 
You shouldn't rely on your goose so much, Daddy. There's such a bunch of asses. You are not my daughter. And you're no longer my father. <laughs> Tell you what, Daddy-o. Me and Mustafa are heading off to have some fun. Get back here. Johnny! Johnny! Send my regards to that smelly old cheek. Now that he won't be marrying me, maybe you could introduce him to your new little friend. Johnny, what has happened to you? I don't know, Mustafa. <laughs> and I don't care. All I know is that the green genie has arrived. And she's going to paint the town fun. You must follow Red October deep into her lair. But take heed. She is prepared for my powers. I will remain behind and monitor the situation from here. Front and center, heroes. Down here, Red October's got the home field advantage. Penetrate her base. Keeping your eyes open for any clues regarding October and her frigid master scheme. With Winter involved, we can only assume the worst. Hey, if I wanted to be trapped in a dank dark place, I would have stayed in the barrio. With every step, we come closer to the secrets of Red October. No matter how deep these tunnels travel, they shall not deter us from our path. The heart of Red October's power is close. Be on your guard, Freedom Force. Who knows what dark secrets she nurtures. Welcome to my cauldron, Freedom Force. You're just in time for the dance. Something tells me you don't really want to dance. How about instead you tell us what you and the Nuki are up to? Mm, I suppose I could tell you. But if I did, I suppose I would miss pleasure of watching you die! Decisions, decisions. Freedom! Ugh! Oi! Fall before my magic! Attack the evil Enough! You have won. My defeat is utter... Okay, Red October! You ready to talk, or would you like a little more convincing? Where's Nuclear Winter? You dare speak Comrade Winter's name? He is two times the man you are. I'm sure he's a big man at the Politburo, but you're not in Russia anymore. It's time to sing. Comrade Winter knows it is a matter of time before our supposed leaders cave into your criminal president and give up all of our nuclear weapons. So... He has decided to build up stockpile of his own to protect the motherland. Why is he in Cuba? There haven't been any nukes here since the Reds removed them after the missile crisis in 1962. Of course. He must have used Time Master's powers to move the missiles from 1962 forward in time. Mad? Not Comrade Winter. He is man of peace. Even now, my servants are building C-62 low-frequency transmitters to prevent accidental launch. C-62s? I worked on nuclear missile technology in the 40s. Those transmitters won't prevent accidental launch. They would only be used to override the missile's safety measures. Nuclear Winter intends to launch those missiles. What? No! Comrade Winter would not... You've been played for a fool, my Soviet sweetheart. In a post-apocalyptic world, nuclear winter would thrive in the radioactive fallout. Who knows how powerful he would become? And as he rises, so man shall fall. The liar! He dare us betray Red October? This I shall not forgive. I will take you to him, Freedom Force. But time is short. He may already have enough transmitters to initiate a launch. Hurry, team! Either you stop Winter, or he stops the world! There is an ancient Aztec saying, In every warrior lives a child, and in every child a warrior. Such are the lessons that Tizoc, grandfather of young Johnny Azotl, tries to teach him. But young Johnny isn't interested in grandfather's strange old ways. And this is the noble staff of Quetzalcoatl. Why can you never listen? Does the modern world know so much that it has nothing to learn from the past? Grandpa, you're living in the past. 
Why do you make me come to this stupid museum every year? I live in Patriot City, not some boring old Aztec village. By the souls of the ancestors, is the lad so blind he can only look where he's going and never where he has been? Grandpa's always trying to tell me about the past. He doesn't understand. That stuff doesn't matter anymore. Johnny Azotal, trapped in his angry thoughts, fails to notice a shadowy figure who sneaks into the entrance to the museum that the lad has left open. Huh? What was that? Grandpa? I must be hearing things. Maybe I should... Grandfather? Oh, no. The youth rushes downstairs as fast as he can, but alas, he is not fast enough. Grandfather! No! Out of the way, small fry. I've got what I came for. He's the one who hurt Grandfather. Can't let him get away. And without a second thought, Johnny pursues the dangerous felon to the roof of the museum. I got you. I give that back. The golden staff of Quetzalcoatl is worth millions, and it's mine. Suddenly, the staff is flooded with a strange, pulsing energy. Oh, what in the heck is that? <gasps> what was that? Lightning? No. Oh, it's something else. Something powerful. Powerful indeed. Flowing through him, the lad feels a strange combination of Energy X and something ancient. Something noble coming from the staff of Quetzalcoatl itself. And with that power, he feels a new presence entering his very mind and body. The presence of a warrior. The presence of... Quetzalcoatl. Beware, villain! Where once stood a boy, now stands a god! Alright, wise guy. Take off the costume and give me what I came for. I'll not give you what you want, but I shall gladly grant what you deserve. Justice! Moments later. Why do I feel this way? Justice has been served, yet my heart is heavy. What is this? Grandfather, he's dead. <laughs> I'm trapped in some kind of spirit world. And I am in a world I never imagined. The boy and I seem somehow bound together by some mysterious force. <laughs> if only I didn't leave Grandfather alone, <laughs> none of this would have happened. Cease your crying, child. Such is not the way of the warrior. I'm not a warrior. Not anything. I'm just a stupid punk kid. Enough! I... I... And at that moment, the ancient god feels something he has never experienced. A great sadness. As the unfamiliar tear falls onto the face of the lifeless old man, something miraculous happens. And a life unjustly taken is returned. <gasps> The fates have bound the boy to me. I am in this world from another time. From a noble past, I come into a strange future. Perhaps together we can find the path of honor. By the waters of Tlaloc and the wrath of Zyptotec, such is my pledge. Jeepers, Featherface. Do you always talk so much? Fools! Do I have to do everything for you? I have shown you the exact location of former Comrade Winter's base, and you say you are powerless to enter it? Aspersions do not bring us closer to our goal, Red October. The only way into the base requires the bypassing of a series of ice walls. And unlike you, your boss was smart enough to lock the door from the inside. It seems the barriers only penetrate a few feet below the ground. If we had more time, I could have a team of army engineers excavate the terrain, allowing us to tunnel underneath the barriers. An entire team of engineers? You know what that costs these days? Hey, it's the insect! Yep, it's the one and only ant, now available for all your crime-fighting needs. This month, we're running a special on burrowing into the headquarters of psychopathic snowmen. Welcome back, son! You've got a knack for timing! It's vital that we stop Nuclear Winter before he unleashes Nuclear Armageddon. Minuteman, I'll need your keen mind for atomic science nearby. If anyone does get into that base, we'll need to have worked out how to stop those missiles. 
Are you sure you are up to this, American insect? Even I cannot penetrate these walls. How can one as puny as you hope to succeed? Size can be misleading, Oktoberfest. Why don't you just park yourself on that broom of yours and watch how an expert gets things done? By Trotsky's name, an intruder has penetrated Comrade Winter's imperious walls. And I'm just getting warmed up. Let's do it again. Red October, you will pay for your betrayal. Is it true, Red Mother? Have you betrayed the Master? It is Comrade Winter who has drunk from the bitter cup of treason. His madness shall unleash atomic destruction upon the Motherland. For her sake, we must stop Winter. The Red Mother would not lie to us. But Comrade Winter would not betray us. To trust one is to betray the other. And so, we must choose. The Dark Shamans choose Red October. And the Ice Troopers choose Nuclear Winter. To the death. Destroy the capitalists. Chump. And that's the end of that. Now, what are we going to do about those missiles? Well done, Ant. Now we will... Now you are too late. My destiny was revealed to me long ago, and now it has come to pass. Oh, say it ain't so. Yes, American lackeys. I have launched the first nuclear missile. Target, Moscow. When it strikes, the fools in the Kremlin will launch a retaliatory strike that will bring the accursed United States to its knees. Um, do I need to remind everyone that nuclear missiles travel very, very fast? Minuteman, what do we do? There will be two override transmitters on each launch bay. If you destroy the right one, it will reset the missile to safety mode and send it harmlessly into the ocean. But if you destroy the wrong one, it will enter fail-safe mode and doom the Earth to destruction. Those Soviet scientists will know which transmitter to activate on each missile. You only have about five minutes, team. Hurry! You've done it! That nuclear missile has landed harmlessly in the Atlantic. Middling fools, you haven't won yet. Fire two! Quick, learn which transmitter to destroy to stop that second missile. That one is headed for Los Angeles, so you have less time to stop it. Say goodnight, Chuckles. Two down, one to go. Another missile has been diverted. Say goodbye to Patriot City, you swine. You know the drill, team. Find out which transmitter to destroy and put it out of commission. And with that missile headed toward Patriot City, you only have a few seconds. You've done it! All three of the nuclear missiles have landed harmlessly in the ocean. The proper authorities are on their way to collect them. You've saved the world! Yeah! You have wrecked my plans. I will just have to content myself with destroying you personally. You'll have to destroy me as well, comrade. You have betrayed my trust. You would have made wasteland of the woods of our homeland and annihilated the people who have toiled in the old country. For that, you must be utterly defeated. Come, my minions. Come to fight! <laughs> He's down! You did it, team! Do you think I have let myself grow weak since our last encounter? With Time Master's power, I have learned to channel the very essence of the Ice Age into my body. 
I have come to know a kind of gold that men never dreamed of. Look upon me, Freedom Force, and tremble. Stars and bars! <laughs> That's for you! Soup's on! You cannot hurt me! Want me to pull a face with you? I am defeated. Arrgh! Is it possible that one such as I am defeated by one such as you? Cheer up, Nuki. Maybe next time you'll get to destroy the world. The important thing is to never give up. Red October, have you now seen the error of your ways? Perhaps we could work together to... Do not flatter yourself, Minute Man. This was marriage of convenience. But you and I will always be enemies. And one day, I shall destroy you and your people and lead the motherland to glorious conquest! Freedom Force, you've done the world a great favor today. Nuclear Winter is in custody, and Time Master's body is once again in my control. Next time, maybe y'all could be a bit more careful when it comes to keeping those super bad guys under lock and key. Ignore my colorful friend. Freedom Force is here to serve our country, whenever and wherever. Godspeed, Freedom Force. Look at them go. So sure of their purpose, so proud of their place in the world. Well, my friends, your world is about to change. <laughs>
Do you think that Wilson somehow used Time Master? I would suspect he was somehow involved. The spoke originates 20 years ago during World War II. Somebody must have used Time Master to return to that time and provide the Third Reich with Energy X. That would explain all the flying Nazi supermen. Using those powers, the Germans must have won the war and taken control of the world, including Patriot City. But there is good news. And what's that, sugar? There's a sale on extra-large German helmets? Because the changes in the time stream have their origins in Energy X, I can use my powers to manipulate them. You mean... Yes. I can send members of Freedom Force back through time to find out whoever caused this and stop them before it's too late. Too late? But it's already happened. Not 20 years ago it hadn't. Ay ay ay! Can't we go back to beating up bank robbers? Right. Now listen good, Jerry, because there might be a quiz afterwards. I know you've been playing footsies with old Adolf, and as a citizen of Her Majesty's Empire, I must confess I find that rather unappetizing. I may be a double agent, but I'll die before I talk to the likes of you. Leave the dire predictions to me, mate. Now, if you don't... Yeah! What is this madness? Is this 1942? That lot of sauerkraut was this close to giving me the information I needed to crack open his entire spy ring. And unless I miss me bet, you're the joker who upset the apple cart. Where is Charles Wilson? Charles who? Have you snapped your Christmas crackers? Now answer quick, because Blackjack isn't known for his kind and patient disposition. I'll only ask once more, where is Wilson? So that's the way it's going to be, eh? Right, it's fisticuffs for you, mate. The time for jibes and gambles is at an end. Where is Charles Wilson? A. I never heard of the sod. And B. If I had heard of him, I wouldn't share the intelligence with a Nazi sod like you. Nazi? I am no Nazi. Rings of Rexor! It seems I can only hold a single entity in the past for a brief period before their energy exaggerates the time stream. But, yes, I can put another hero in Tombstone's place. I can stabilize this, but it will take some time. What in the name of... This must be some kind of decoy. Do not be hard on yourself. Blackjack's duplicate foiled even my superlative senses. Hold. I am now picking up a faint resonance trail heading towards the nearby courtyard. I suggest you investigate. His thought patterns tell us that Blackjack is the key to finding Wilson. Well done, team. Blackjack should be somewhere around here. British spies! Kill them! Incapacitate them before they can bring help! While you do that, I will continue desaturating the time stream. Attack the evil fiends! I'm the Third Reich's most stubborn antagonist. I've almost stabilized the time stream. You must persevere. It is done. The time stream is now stable. Achtung! Like meat to the grinder. You will pay for what you did to Gunther. Surrender! Surrender? That's an option you'll soon wish you had. Hey! Super-powered yikes! Shield your eyes! Yeah, mine eyes! <laughs> Those gits won't be blind forever. Let's kiss our dates goodnight, and then we can have a bit of a dialogue. Perhaps I've misjudged you, Blackjack. And I may have been a bit hasty sussing out your intentions, chum. All I know is that when it comes to putting Jerry down for the count, you've got the right idea. Let us explain, friend. We are the Freedom Force, a team of Energy X powered heroes from the future. Are you hearing a voice in your head, or is that just me? Me? 
Mentor communicates telepathically. In time, you will become used to it. So, you're from the future? Yes. And you've received special powers from this Energy X you mentioned? Yes. And you've come back in time to... To keep Energy X out of the hands of the Third Reich before they change the time stream, win the war, and damn the future to eternal slavery. Well, I suppose I could ask about 10,000 different questions right now, but I'd rather not get bogged down on details. Given what I've seen lately, I knew something strange had to be going on. The Germans have been using strange weapons and powers that nobody has ever seen before. I've been trying to locate an Italian chap that goes by the name of Fortissimo. Story goes, Fortissimo's got himself a passel of special powers, much like you lot, and has been using them to make bloody mischief for our lads. If he has Energy X powers, perhaps he could lead us to Charles Wilson. Could you help us find this Fortissimo? I believe I may be of some small assistance in that department. Word is, he set up a Very good, my British buffoon. Lead Freedom Force into my trap. Soon I shall have you and the futuristic fools exactly where I want them! At the mercy of Blitzkrieg! I hear Fortissimo himself has come to watch over this operation. If we make a mistake, we are all doomed. Ah, uh, you're always complaining. One day you're going to... If you ask me, that Italian fool has had one too many plates of pasta. Shut your mouth, you fool. It's him. It's for... Did somebody say my name? Mein Gott! Ach, you idiot! You're lucky Fortissimo let us live! We better make sure those books he distributed are sent to the bonfires, or next time we won't be so lucky! Tonight we burn the degenerate art of the freedom-loving fools. Let's see the Allies try to stop us! The only thing that's gonna burn tonight is you. What's this loss? Americana! Fire! Fire! I'll only ask this once. What's the fat man up to? I'll never tell! My Leben! I surrender! Fortissimo has ordered his goons to burn the Gutenberg Bible, the original Summa Theologica, and Shakespeare's first folio. Those are cultural treasures. The world could never recover from their loss. The Gutenberg is in the cathedral. If we don't hurry, the scum will burn it to cinders. The Nazi cowards shall pay the ultimate price. Keep her in neutral, son. We're here as heroes, not vigilantes. Where are the other books, scum? I'll never talk. They say that dead men tell no tales. Let's see if you're the exception that proves the rule. <laughs> it's in the park! The Summa Theologica is in the park! Now let go, you beast from beyond the grave! You are spared the ultimate punishment in this world. You won't be so lucky in the next. Oh, I am for a book defeating. Learning. Ah, disturbing a strain of Pagliacci. A fitting a backdrop for my triumphant finale! Just as Canio slays the treacherous Ned, I will destroy the invasion plans. Voice so loud! Where's it coming from? His voice is foul but strong. He is clearly able to project it over miles. How I shall delight in his shrieks when I bring him his just punishment. Permission! I surrender! I'll take that. Now, tell me where the Shakespeare is. I'll never tell! What's with the rumbling? Crikey, it's a bleeding panzer! One less tank for Hitler. Now, let's talk to our book-burning friend again. Look sharp, we've got company. 
Either you tell us where to find the Shakespeare, or you're next for the fire. Herr Schmidt has it, but you will never get to him in time. Thanks for the advice. We have an appointment with Herr Schmidt. Let's not keep him waiting. Now we have them! A feet of saying, mein Herr, this degenerate work will soon be nothing but ashes! <laughs> Ambush. Good. So sad you will not be around for the grand finale! We've got to stop them before they burn the Shakespeare! We cannot fail! Time to redouble our efforts! You'll never stop, Fortissimo, before he burns the secret plans! Secret plans? I will know what you know. What does it matter if I tell you? Fortissimo comes now to burn the secret invasion plans you are like pigs have been trying to get your hands on. This am gone, England shall fall! I knew this was too easy. We've got to stop that voluminous villain. If we only knew where he was. Judging by the music, it sounds as if he's about to make an entrance! Ah, the music has nearly reached its triumphant moment! When the music reaches crescendos, so will the cause of the excess of powers! Some honey tea for my throat! It is almost a time for Fortissimo, master of music, to take the stage! Stars and bars! Won't anything shut that fool up? You dare to insult the very voice of a heaven? He doesn't deserve to live to see my grand entrance! And Oof. here... Take this! Oof. You're making it time for the curtain to fall and the book to burn! No! I still have to take a curtain call! The curtain has gone down on this fool for good. Not all battles are won on the battlefield, or so goes the saying at Her Majesty's Institute of Wartime Research. But that wasn't good enough for Jack Sinjin Spade, working diligently behind his desk at the Institute. This combination of corrosive acid and deadly venom is exactly what MI6 needs for covert operations against Jerry. Blast, who am I kidding? Here I am, safe as houses, while me mates are right socking it to the hunt on the front lines. If only I could be there with them. But it was Jack's dear mentor, Professor O'Toole, who personally requested that the Queen keep Jack out of combat. Remember, Jack, not all battles are won on the battlefield. England can't afford to put you in physical peril. You'll fight, Jerry, but you'll do it from behind your desk. Blast! Where's the time gone? It's time for my weekly card game with Professor O'Toole. Maybe this time I'll be able to convince him to let me leave and join the lads in uniform. Who's the brass with the Professor? Looks like they're talking about something right serious. Guess it wouldn't hurt anyone for old Jack to have a bit of a listen. I hope for your sake that this device will work as advertised, O'Toole. The Hun is at our throat. The RAF can't hold out forever. Why, if my calculations are correct, my reverse sonar amplification wave would change the course of the war. But I, but I need more time to fully test the final frequency sequence. You're holding back on me, aren't you, Professor? Why, uh, of course not. Not I. Curse the foolish Britisher. My powers of mental persuasion must be losing their hold on him. Bangers and mash. That sort is no more RAF than Hitler's cousin Fritz. Watch his game. This machine of yours is critical to the Führer's war effort. But don't blame yourself, Professor. How could you have known that the information I have given you pertains to British airplanes and not German? When you tell me the final frequency, I shall activate this device you have created and knock the entire Royal Air Force out of the sky. England shall be Germany's and Blitzkrieg's for the taking! So that's his game. This Teutonic mentalist has tricked the professor into working for the Reichstag. Now you will tell me the final frequency. Now you shall give me the key to bring your pathetic kingdom to its knees!
Right, you Axis Pratt. Your kind ain't welcome here. Now you can come along quiet like, or you can come along arse over elbow. God in Himmel! When will your allied fools ever learn? Today, Blitzkrieg controls your minds. Tomorrow, he shall rule your pathetic island! God, blimey! Can't move me own legs! Either I'm off my trolley, or this Pratt is playing cricket with my cerebellum. That will keep the fool out of the way for now. Now, Professor, you will tell me what I want to know. What is the final frequency? Go think fast. The bleeding war ain't in the balance. Wait a minute. Just because I can't move me legs doesn't leave me out of options, now does it? The professor's starting to talk, but how can I? My own mentor. But there's no choice. It's him or England. The final frequency is... is... No! You! You shall pay for this insolence! You have no idea how much of my precious mind went into planning this operation! I shall return to see you and your pathetic kingdom burnt to the ground! Come back if that's your fancy, Fritz. England will be ready for you. And so shall Blackjack. So it seems that the legends were true. There were individual heroes who fought the Germans during the darkest days of the war. Heck, of course they were true. I've been reading about the legend of the Sky King since I was shorter than the little blue shrimp over here. Hey! Who the heck is this Sky King? Some people said it was all made up, but not me. Sky King was a legend, an American hero with a homemade jetpack who took the fight to the Third Reich. Give me a chance, mentor pal. Send me back to meet my hero. I am sorry, Bullet, but of all of Freedom Force, you are the one who cannot go. Your supercharged metabolism is too unstable for me to maintain in the temporal stream. Sorry, Mentor, you just went about three syllables past my limit. Peaches and cream, Bullet. He's telling you if he sends you, he may not be able to bring you back. That's a risk I'm willing to take. Perhaps, but I am not. But those who do go must find Blitzkrieg's base of operations. And if possible, re-establish contact with Blackjack. The heroes from the past may be the only salvation of the present. Evening, mon petit. You're looking fetching tonight. Listen to me, Blackjack. There is no time for frivolity. We must immediately... That will quiet the French sow. And now it's your turn, English pig. A sneak attack. You dishonor us all with your treachery. Uh, please accept this act as uh, my apology, a worthy English fool. I don't know what your game is, mate, but unless I miss my guess, you're a subject of the Emperor of Japan. Have some pain on me. You have bested me with honor. What is it you wish to know? Time for a conversation, chum. I'm looking for Blitzkrieg, and I'm guessing you might know where I could ring him up. You underestimate Red Sun, worthy opponent. Humble advice. Do not do so again. Qu'est-ce que qui s'est passé? Was there some kind of explosion? Had a spot of bother with a Japanese fellow. Calls himself Red Sun. Fancy's blown himself into wee bits. Now what were you going to share with me before we were interrupted? La Résistance tells me that Blitzkrieg is very close to cracking an encoded message that could give away the locations of the entire Pacific fleet. Hundreds of ships and thousands of soldiers will be at risk. Blackjack, can you hear my voice? Oi, is that that strange bald-headed chap again? Sorry, Cherie, I may have failed to mention that I've made contact with a group of some lovely blokes from the future. Kicker is, these blokes seem to have utterly wonking superpowers. Mon ami, have you gone mad? Hang about. Go on, mentor. I've been able to re-establish the temporal link. Stand by. By the seven sons of Galactian! There must be some sort of device nearby interfering with the temporal link. Some form of time blockers. If Blitz and his goons know you're keen on spoiling a party, might he be behind this? Yes, 
and more than likely, he is using a variation on the devices Red October used to disguise her lair. I can reveal the time blockers, but you'll have to destroy them before I can send you any help. Either there was a strange-looking bald man talking to me in my mind, or I have just gone completely insane. Not to worry, Cherie. If he's some kind of lunatic delusion, we shall gladly gallivant off to Bedlam together. Follow me, Tree Calor. We just might have some help in taking on Blitzkrieg. That's the way the biscuit crumbles. I can get one man through, but some interference remains. Once you destroy the other, more help can be sent. You've destroyed the second time blocker. What? Somebody's already gone through? But who? Howdy. The name's the bullet, and I run real fast. Mon Dieu. Never before have I seen such a man as this. You ain't half bad yourself. Bullet, what have you done? I warned you that you might be trapped in the past forever. Past don't look so bad from where I'm sitting, Spaceman. Oh. If you two are finished snogging, might we get down to brass tacks? We've got cherries to jumble. Darn it. Blitzkrieg's cryptographic base is in that compound, but of course, the guards are quite heavy. Cool, what a bleeding stonker! It's gonna take some right heavy firepower to break those bricks. We might do with a bit of a scout before we go rushing in there. Attack the evildoers! The code-breaking facility is destroyed! Well done, team! Wait, I sense danger! I cannot return you to our time before those machines are disabled. I will fall before my blade. Well, ladies and gents, looks like I've got a mosey on back to 1963 now. Have to say it was mighty nice working with you. And double mighty nice working with you, mademoiselle. Goodbye, Monsieur Bullet. You fight well, born American. Shoot. Not only did I not get to meet my boyhood hero, I meet a fine filly like that, only to watch her walk right out of my life. Don't get involved with foreign women, son, especially ones 20 years older than you. Uh, hello? I'm still here. Mentor? Mentor! Take him to the lab. Start the experiments at once. And if you harm him in any way, then you know you're doing something right. That's enough, Cherie. I'll tell you, they've already hoofed it back to 1963. Wait, what is that? Look at that truck, mon dieu! Bullet has been taken prisoner by those pigs. We must save him. Hold on, pet. Blackjack never leaves a friend on a ledge. But we've got to do this right. The Olympic Games. Is there any spectacle more grand? Is there any contest more demanding? And this Olympics is more demanding than most, because it is hosted in the heart of the Third Reich itself. And with a touch, the match is over. But the citizens of the Reich didn't come to see their own defeated by a French swordstress. Sabrine Tricolette smiles, knowing she has just claimed her third gold medal. Later, a strange visitor arrives. Hello? Who is that? I have come to tell you that you are... How would the French say it? Incroyable. Pardon, but this room is private. Private? Why, my dear? From now on, you will keep nothing private from me. I did not like your tone. Not to worry, my beautiful flower. I'm here to change your mind. That is it. I... What are you doing to my mind? You're in no position anymore to make demands. Years pass. 
A war begins, France falls, and in defeat, the Vichy French collaborate with the German war machine. But a brave few remain true to their country. Vite! We have to get these supplies to the rest of the French underground. With these munitions, we'll be able to push the Han out of our beloved city forever. P.S. Who is that there? If it isn't a bunch of pigs lining up at the trial of treachery. Well, we know what happens to traitorous pigs. They fall at the brilliant blade of the Belle of Vichy. <laughs> So, pigs, is there anything you have to say before we finish this? Stop that! Stop singing that filthy song at once! Stop it! The bell grabs the leader of the resistance fighters and shakes him, trying to quiet the notes of her once national anthem. But as she shakes him, his cravat loosens and out comes a symbol that she once held dear. Although she tries to tear away the offending fabric, the stunning swordstress finds herself paralyzed, and from her immobile form, she begins to feel the glowing pride of one's mother country. The Germans have taken everything from me. My mind, my body, my heart. But they could not take that which I hold most dear. The French flag. La tricolore. Come on, mes amis. It's time to show these fools what it means to be a Frenchman. Sabrine Tricolette makes a solemn vow. That German troll has taken my identity and created a new one in its place. So, from this day, I say goodbye to the woman I was and the monster he created and vow that they shall be avenged by Tricolore. I don't care if you think I've gone balmy. These blokes are from the future, and they've got all kinds of superpowers. I, uh, I think our chum Blackjack has had one too many pints of bitter. Right then, for the last time, I've had about enough of you and your sarcasm, yank. Was uh, that a threat, Jumpin' Jack? Oh, that's right, Rich, coming from you, Flyboy. Oh, that's right, the flying pack of yours doesn't exactly say fly, now, does it? Sacrebleu, if you fools want to fight, why don't you go find a Nazi? Now pay attention, we have work to do. Whether you believe in their powers or not, one of the Americans is being held prisoner in Blitzkrieg's dungeon. If we don't get him out of there, you know what will happen. So you're proposing we run off and, and maybe get ourselves killed for someone you claim is from the future and runs faster than lightning? No, mon ami. I am suggesting we run off and maybe get ourselves killed for someone who is willing to stand up to Blitzkrieg and his pigs. Do you need another reason? Let's go. Oh, now you say this bullet character looks kinda like me? A <laughs> handsome fella, I suppose. I don't see the resemblance. Beyond two yanks both tarted up like tins of bully beef. Oh, it's conversations like this that make me wish I never learned English. Oh, those machines seem to be sucking a very life from the poor sod. Better take them out before we try to free them. Mind the gap, looks like a nasty tumble. It's those costumed allied fools! Destroy them, or face the wrath of Blitzkrieg himself! Now you fellas have gone and made me mad. Nobody likes me when I'm mad. You will feel my blade. Tearing up that crowd equipment must have released me from that machine. You all can come up to my house for pie anytime you like. Oh, hey there, Tricolor. Bonjour, Monsieur Boulette. And is that Sky King? Hey there, how are you, sir? Might I say I'm a big fan. I like him already. Now on to the $2 question. How do I get across this pit? I may be fast, but I don't got wings. It's times like this I wish those wings weren't just for show, mate. Might come in handy in a spot like this. I've modified them so they can slow a fall, but can't just seem to make the darn thing get airborne. Uh, Sky King, if I may, have you tried reversing the polarity of the neutron flow in the transistors? Reversing the... why, that's the stupidest thing I ever... Oh, now hold on a minute. You know, that just might... Woohoo! Well, if that don't take the biscuit... Now, say here, Bullet, uh, how do you know so much about my jetpack? I read about it when I was a kid, in one of your comic books. In fact, in the May 1954 issue. 
When, when you were a kid? Why, you're older than I am. Right, mate. I see you haven't sussed out the whole bullet is from the future thing yet. Perhaps we can save the metaphysical discussion for another time. Or have you forgotten we've a war to win? By the sound of it, there's a passel of Jerry's on their way here right now. We'll have to find another way out. We should take this opportunity to destroy some of Blitzkrieg's foul experiments while we are here. Who knows what horrors we could spare the world? Best keep our eyes peeled for some way to deal with those hairy monkeys. You will never get out of here alive! Attack! Attack! All right, boys and girls. Now Bullet's going to show you how we do things in Patriot City. Oh, be sorry. Uh, this food. The father. It's security lockdown. If you need to exit, you will need clearance from two officers. Anyone suspicious will be shot on sight. Sounds like we'd best find a couple of officers willing to open up the exit for us. Hey, have some pain you may have me. gotten a bit of me, but Herr Blitzkrieg will be here before you could possibly escape. Too bad for Blitzkrieg. Now that we've got both keys, we'll take our leave. And so will you. Now let's get back to wherever you guys call home and figure out what's next. When the future looks dark, when all hope seems lost, when mankind needs a hero, check your six. Here comes the Sky King. Rocket pack ready. Let's take to the skies. The glory of Hollywood. How it takes us away from our day-to-day -day worries. And never were these worries more real than in the middle of World War II. Yes, we turn to the silver screen for comfort. But to Ace Gunner, things weren't so simple. Thanks for coming to the screening with me, Charmaine. I always bust out in a nervous sweat before each new episode. Very well, Ace, but let's not make a regular thing of it. I need my beauty sleep before filming starts tomorrow. My, if it isn't some real fly boys. Don't they look dashing in their uniforms? Well, shucks, if, if I were five years younger, I'd be flying for real, too. Hey, gorgeous, why are you wasting time with that civilian? Oh, we were just saying our goodbyes. Where are you handsome heroes headed to? Why, Charmaine, I, I thought you wanted to go home and get some sleep. Uh, Charmaine? But the object of Ace's affections is already gone. Oh, who am I kidding? Of course Charmaine wants to be with a, a real hero, not some nanny who just plays one for the moving pictures. The next day in Tinseltown, Ace prepares for another day of filming as Sky King. I wonder what the money guys would think if, if they knew I'd been tinkering with the rocket packs on this costume of mine. Well, I've nearly got them working for real. Oh, they'd probably laugh me right off the set. Speed and roll film. And action! Turn up! And there's the Sky King. Okay, Ace, now look down. And there's Charmaine. And she's looking up because she thought she caught a glimpse of her beloved Sky... Hey, who's the Joker in the monocle? Holy cats. That looks like some kind of a German agent. And those sirens. Uh, he must be on the lamb from the feds. Nobody move. This pretty canary is now my hostage. You'd better not hurt her, Fritzy. She's on contract with the studio. If you value her life, you will do exactly as I say. Won't somebody help me? Quiet, you decadent swine! What a thing fast. What would Sky King do? That's it. All those knights tinkering with his jetpack. Well, boy, they're about to pay off. Get your sauerkraut smelling mitts off me, you German jerk! Quiet, fool! Once we are on board the German subs that awaits me, you shall learn to respect the master race. If this doesn't work, Oh, I'm gonna flatten like a tin can. But that crowd's getting away. Well, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Golly gee, what happened? Wow, Ace saved the day. It really is the Sky King. Oh, Ace, you're a hero. <laughs> Buffo, Gunner, that was some A1 heroing. And not only that, I got the whole thing on camera. Maybe we could talk about it over dinner tonight. At my place? Oh, Sky King is going to be big, but Ace Gunner's going to be bigger! But now, Ace Gunner knows he won't be going to Charmaine's house tonight. In fact, he won't be staying in Hollywood at all. He's going where he knows he's needed most, as the Sky King. 
Are you ready, Alchemist? Alchemist? Yes. Yes, I'm sorry. I must have... You are troubled by our earlier conversation, where I told you that your vision of Freedom Force betraying you might have indeed been a vision of the future. I'm troubled by a lot of things. Ever since I got zapped by Energy X, everything's gotten worse. Patriot City attacked by aliens, dinosaurs, and now we're fighting against the Third Reich itself. And what have we gotten for all our trouble? What did Ted... What did Manbot get? There's a saying on Earth. I believe it goes as follows. One engages in the contest with the series of cards granted to him by the dealer. We have been dealt strange cards indeed. We can only strive to play them with as much courage and dignity as possible. Thank you, Mentor. Are you prepared? I am. We have trained together long and well. Your powers will be key in defeating Blitzkrieg. I will be using your mystic strength to buffer my psychic energy. It is our only hope of bringing Bullet through the time stream. But there are dangers. I am asking you to tap into a side of your abilities which even you have not encountered. Sounds like a party. All right, let's do it. Alchemist! Oh, I'm all right. Just never felt that kind of power before. Took me by surprise. Welcome back, Bullet. If there was any justice, we would have left you back in Berlin. Bullet, are you hurt? Me? Shucks, I'm great. And better yet, me and those Europeans done figured out where your buddy Blitzkrieg is hiding. Good. Get the others. We'll need to send a team of four back as soon as possible. But not you, my friend. Consider yourself grounded. I know I speak for the three of us when I welcome you back to this particular corner of hell. Your struggle is ours, my friend. What is the situation? It's a bit of a sticky wicket. Old Blitzy's stronghold is surrounded by some kind of force field. Is that another bit of business he picked up from you lot? We could send the ant to burrow underneath it. The barrier seems to go underground. We can't go under, nor fly over it. Blitzkrieg, or should I say Charles Wilson, must have observed how we overcame the force fields in Cuba and planned for that eventuality. By the flag! Are we defeated before we even start? Not necessarily so, friend. If we project a team even further into the past, to a time before Blitzkrieg activated the barrier, a team could locate the power source of the barrier and destroy it. Well, now hold on there a second. Oh, I'm not an expert in this time travel business, but won't Blitzkrieg just have his goons rebuild the gosh darn thing? An excellent point. Not if we have the team plant a remote explosive device inside, which can go undetected until we detonate it in the present. A clever concept, but alas... Impossible. I cannot create a second time portal while this one is open. Well, it's a good thing you brought me along. Time travel is not something to be taken lightly. Are you ready for such an awesome undertaking? I guess we'll just have to consider it on-the-job training. A bold plan, but not a foolish one. Alchemist will lead a team back to the more distant past. Sky King, can you use your suit's electronics to act as a detonation transmitter? Sure thing, but I'll have to be pretty close to set it off. Good. You, Blackjack, Tricolor, and Diablo will be responsible for the action here. Sure. Just let me drink about a gallon of milk of magnesia first. Oh, I don't feel so well. Never time travel on a stomach full of chimichangas. Get to work, Sky King. When Alchemist contacts us, we'll know the explosives are in place. So let's see. If I just adjust the primary vacuum tubes and realign the main servo with a little tweak of the radio transmitter... Okay, I I'm going to need some uninterrupted time, fellas, to, to make this all happen. Oh, if, I if I get interrupted, I'll need to start over. You there, American Schweinhund, prepare to die! Keep them off me! We are back on track. Halfway done, I think. 
Oh, just give me a little more time. Concentrate your attacks on the one with the metal wings. Stop him! Release the eye! Release the eye? Oh, that doesn't sound encouraging. Ay, caramba, looks like playtime is over. I have the right activated. Destroy, destroy, destroy. Meanwhile, a year in the past. Dang, I've brought us in a few blocks off our target. We're gonna have to fight our way to Blitzkrieg's headquarters. What is this? Spies! Shoot them! Shoot them before they see what they should not! We need to get through this gate, but there's no way to go in without raising a commotion. Wait a minute. If we can knock out a few more German goons, I can probe their unconscious minds for their memories. I can use those memories to project an illusion over us, so we look like the very goons we knocked out. We'll be able to stroll right in there. Action. That's it. I've got Best enough memories thing. now to project the perfect illusion. Let's get to that gate. Oh, I didn't see you there, Obergrubenführer Schmidt. Uh, yes. Hmm. Look at your uniform. It's just dreadful. Is that how you fools dress yourselves in the morning? Jawohl, Herr Schmidt. I will see to my uniform at once. See that you do. Now, if you don't mind, me and these, um, other very important Germans are now going to inspect the base. Jawohl, Herr Commandant. What is it that I smell? A heavenly mix of a magnolia and peaches. You fools! These are not German soldiers. They are some kind of allied spies. Looks like the jig is up. Come on, team. We've got work to do. Sausage eating of fools? I had told you, you needed the more guards at this gate. After them, the day shall end with their deaths or yours. Meanwhile, one year later. The German defenses have suddenly grown even stronger than before. Huh. I suppose that as events get all switched around, it then goes and changes things in the future. Huh. Kind of makes my head hurt. Ah, got it! Mentor, I'm ready. Just give me the signal and I'll blow up the field generator with my remote signal. Only need a few minutes more. I hear there is a summer commotion. There is a no problem that can't be fixed by the stirring sounds of my music. Well, if it is in my favorite stereotype. Looks like it's time to put you on a strict diet of cuts and bruises, tone deaf. Who dares speak to Fortissimo in such a familiar manner? Ah, Cibella, what a beauty. Too bad she has to die. Okie doke, now here's a lowdown. One of you has got to reach that generator and plant one of Mentor's explosive devices. The Allied Uber meddlers have planted some device on Blitzkrieg's power source. There is a western plot afoot. Someone must escape and spread the word. That's it. The generator is set to explode. But at least one of those sausage eaters saw you. If they get away and tell their pinhead buddies what's going on, they'll throw a monkey wrench in our plans. Head over there and spoil the party. And the bomb is good to go. Nice work. Now to tell Sky King the good news. We have won the battle, but the war is still in question. I'll now bring the team back to regroup in the future at the Freedom Fortress. We shall prepare the final assault on Blitzkrieg's lair. Yes, fools. Come to Cuba to defeat Nuclear Winter. Come to the past to retrieve Time Master. And come into my lair to destroy me. Could this be any easier if you were wooden puppets on a two-penny string? At last, the time has come for Blitzkrieg to cut your cord. <gasps> Yeah. 
you dishonor me and my ancestors. Uh, were you born this doll? Or did you have to go to school and learn it? Blitzkrieg has taken our city away from us. He's taken our very existence. But now, it is time to bring the fight to him. I have grown adept enough at manipulating temporal shifts that I can send five of us back. Four of you shall accompany Alchemist, whose mystic powers are now attuned to wrest control of Time Master's body. I wish I shared your confidence, Space Man. You're talking about powers I can barely pronounce, let alone control. This is the only option, Alchemist. You must be ready for this challenge. You'll be fine, Lassie. We know you shan't let us down. What he said. Does Freedom Force membership include health insurance? Me and me mates will guard your flanks so old Blitzy can't bring in any backup. You ready for this, Alchemist? Ready as I'll ever be. Don't worry, girl. I'll be keeping an eye on you from back in 1963 via Mentor's Temporal Link. Alchemist, you better start your spell right away. The rest of you, find Blitzkrieg and defeat him. Allied spies have broken into the complex. Blitzkrieg commands that we destroy them. Attack! I guess that confirms you fellas are in the right place. The big Blitz is probably waiting for you in some well-guarded place, so watch yourself. To victory! I don't like this, Freedom Force. I would have expected Blitzkrieg's inner sanctum to be defended by more than a few Nazi flunkies. He must be up to something. Great Gaia, can it be? It's Time Master. You're close. I can sense him. It's incredible. His power has grown several times since we defeated him, but... But where is Blitzkrieg? Where I am is of no importance. Where you are, however, shall seal your doom. Time Master's power has allowed me to open a gate to my victorious future, from where I will now bring an endless legion of my ruthless minions. Despair, Freedom Force, for you have traveled into the past only to be destroyed by the future. Freedom Force, I think I can stop Blitzkrieg's army, but you need to hold out for one more minute. Just survive that long and I can... Ah! Ah! Hold on, girl! Time Master's energy is overwhelming. Only a little more time. <laughs> My army is endless, and there's nothing you can do to stop me! Goodbye, my friends! Finished. I can start absorbing Time Master's powers. Oh, so much power! Ah! Alchemist! Alchemist! Freedom Force! Come in! Come in! As Alchemist passes out from the strain of trying to absorb Time Master's awesome powers... Alchemist! Alchemist, are you... Oh, I'm okay, I just... Wait. Somehow I can sense what Blitzkrieg has done. He's used temporal amplifiers to bring his army back from 1963 to do his bidding. How can we stop him when he can bring in an infinite army of warriors from the future? Surely we've lost. Yes. And no. Well, the amplifiers must be invisible, which is why we didn't see them. But if I can reverse time just for an hour, perhaps we could try again. Perhaps we could succeed. Is that even possible? It better be, Tex. Because otherwise you'd better stop boning up on your German. Here goes. Alchemist! Alchemist! Me and me mates will guard your flanks so old Blitzy can't bring in any backup. You ready for this, Alchemist? Ready as I'll ever be. Alchemist, you better start your spell right away. The rest of you, find Blitzkrieg and defeat him. Oh, uh, wait! What is it? What's wrong? 
No time to explain. Just listen to me. Can't defeat Blitzkrieg unless... Unless you destroy temporal amplifiers. There are six of them scattered around the complex. I don't understand. How do you know these things? Too complicated to explain. You'll just have to trust me. Go! Allied spies have broken into the complex. Blitzkrieg commands that we destroy them. Attack! I guess that confirms you fellas are in the right place. The big blitz is probably waiting for you in some well-guarded place, so watch yourselves. That's it. There are six all together, and they all need to be destroyed. That's it. All of the temporal amplifiers have been destroyed. Now go and finish off Blitzkrieg. Hurry, Freedom Force. I don't know how long I can contain Time Master's energy. That must be the one known as Time Master. I can sense his foul evil from here. You're close. I can sense him. It's incredible. His power has grown several times since we defeated him. But but where is Blitzkrieg? Where I am is of no importance. Where you are, however, shall seal your doom. Time Master's power has allowed me to open a gate to my victorious future. From where I will now bring an endless legion of my ruthless minions. Despair, Freedom Force. For you have traveled into the past, only to be destroyed by the future. That? No! Where are my minions? Defeated? So be it. I'll just have to attend to you personally. It will be a pleasure racking your minds. Finish him quickly. The strain of containing Time Master's energy is overwhelming. Oh, even without the temporal amplifiers. Feel the wrath of the great. Here it comes, Shadow. For Blitzkrieg. The power flowing through me. I've never felt so strong. And I know just what to do with it. What a small creature is man. How little he knows of the dimensions that exist beyond his own. How unaware he is of his insignificance in the scheme of the cosmic. What could he do besides gape with wonder if he were granted just a glimpse of the glory of the celestial clock? But there is one who knows better. One who has sacrificed his very existence to keep the celestial clock in motion. To keep time itself from stopping. Must fight back. The wraiths of chaos have sworn to destroy the clock, and I am its only defender. And so, Manbot stands alone. Looks like you could use a hand, Metal Man. Alchemist? What? I... You've got to get out of here. Save the pillar talk for later, Sugar. Looks like we've got some creeps to clobber. Why are you here? How did you... I had no idea how powerful I was, Ted. There I was, getting all breathless over casting an arcane bolt here and there. But only just now have I found out what I'm capable of. You mean? Yes. I'm here to take you home, Ted. But how? I can't say how I know, but I just do. I'm in touch with a power I never contemplated. The power to alter reality. I can change the very nature of existence so that you never ended up here in the first place. Reality isn't a toy. You can't just change the things you don't like without changing everything else. These creatures we fight first appeared after I chose to remain here. They are the wraiths of chaos, generated by the cosmic inconsistencies we caused by our very presence in the celestial clock. Who knows what kind of havoc would ensue if you were to dare to alter reality. Weren't you listening? I can take you home. Since we lost you, everybody's been... 
They've all missed you. I've missed you, Ted. Every time I think of you in this horrible place, I, I can't sleep. I... I thought being trapped in this metal suit would be unbearable. But that torment was nothing compared to this cosmic prison. But I stayed here to save Freedom Force. To save you. And now you ask me to risk the very universe? I'm sorry, but... Peaches and cream. I came here to save you, and that's what I'm going to do. Whether you like it or not. Alchemist, no! I can sense the Wraith returning now. Drawn to the very chaos you create. I'm doing this for you, darling. I can't leave you here a second longer. Alchemist! No! Alchemist! Zuta Lor, does everybody in the future have a palace such as this? Hardly, Tricolor. The Freedom Fortress serves as an operation center, a residence, and a training facility all in one. The fortress is equipped with the most modern crime-fighting equipment. Computers capable of storing literally hundreds of kilobytes of information. Hundreds of what now? Oh, at times like this, I'm not so sure taking up Mentor's offer of a brief visit to the future was a good idea. How are we going to go back to war-torn Europe after seeing this place? Speak for yourself, flyboy. The way I see it, this place suffers from a complete absence of bleeding Germans waiting to be kicked in the arse. Yes. Once we defeated Blitzkrieg, the present went back to the way it was supposed to be. A world of peace, where the Third Reich was defeated. Looks like things are returning to normal, and not a moment too soon if you want one man's opinion. So, lassie, do you plan on looking up any friends while visiting 1963? Or might you consider stepping out with a poor fisherman like myself for a wee pint or two? Oh, are you... well... Spars and bars, is it? Rings of Rexor! Can it be? Laddie, is that really? Get away! Something terrible is going to happen. Alchemist. Sorry, Sugar. Alchemist doesn't live here anymore. Minutes earlier. Um, Mr. Tombstone? Have you seen El Diablo? I can't seem to find that hothead anywhere. Hey, Toomey, you in there? I am reflecting. No, I have no insight into the present location of your future husband. Future what? Maybe they don't hear so well on your side of the grave, but I said... What's going on? Manbot? How did you... To make a long story short, lass, the wee witch has brought our metal friend back from the great beyond. Freedom Force! Chaos is breaking out all over the city! Good gravy! Entropy is attacking the Opera House! Entropy? That's right, Blue Gills. It seems that your mate, Alchemist, has gone a bit balmy and become some kind of creature called Entropy. She blew up the room, made a wry comment, and then flew out through the roof. Alchemist did what now? We need to get a team to the Opera House. I'm picking up a kind of energy I've never seen before. I'm going to stay here and analyze it. Let's move, Freedom Force! Freedom of Force, right on time. Entropy said you couldn't resist a chance at heroics, but now that you're here, we can end the overture and commence with a symphony. Stay and destroy them, my minions, while I go backstage. Holy cow, it's that atonal Italian. How the heck did he get here from 1943? Stop him, team, before he makes cannoli out of the city. Check. Come help your fortissimo before the curtain goes down! Do not hurt the fortissimo. He will tell you all about the entropy. He will sing.
What have you done? Oh, you're right. Uh, I've killed a man. How could I? What did I? <laughs> but on the other hand, you had to admit it was pretty darn funny. Uh, sick him, boy. <laughs> Alchemist, this madness must stop. Well, if it isn't man, Bart, come to thank me for bringing you back? I warned you something terrible would happen. And now look at you. You've changed, Alchemist. You've... You're right, I have changed. I thought I had power before. I knew nothing of power. Come with me, man, Bart. With your endless supply of energy X and my control over the very nature of existence, we would be unstoppable. Alchemist! Catherine, think of the people you are hurting. Oh, honey, you don't know the half of it. Every second, the realities I created smash into the reality that once existed. You are both trapped in the clock and here at the same time. Already, the strings of your world are coming untied. <laughs> and frankly, darling, without your help, well, I'm just too small and weak to keep that from happening. Do you mean... Yes, my love. Either come to my side and share my throne, or stand and watch as chaos swallows your world whole. <laughs> So let me see if I get this straight. Alchemist, I mean Entropy, has caused us to exist in two separate time streams at once? That is correct. In other words, I am both simultaneously here and trapped in a celestial clock. Entropy has asked me to join her in her conquest. If I do not, she cannot keep the very universe from unraveling. Yes, and though I have seen the very boundaries of the universe, Though I have witnessed the death of stars and the birth of planets, I can barely begin to comprehend the cosmic impact of Entropy's actions. What's this all about now? Here I am, ready to go on patrol with Ironox, and the boyo decides it's time to take a powder. Rings of Rexor, can it be? Ironox? Who's that? Do I look like one who's itching for a bout of twenty questions, lad? Ironox, you know, he's the one with, uh, uh, you know, a great bangers and mash. Now even I don't remember who I was talking about. Is it possible? Can the tension caused by the conflicting realities be what is causing the very nature of existence to break down? You mean... Yes, the universe is struggling to regain balance. Manbot is back, and Iron Ox is gone. Can you not feel the very memory of him start to dissipate from your mind? Memory of who? Fires have broken out all over the city, but their source is not natural. The very fabric of existence seems alien and different. Eve. Remain here and try to contact the spirits of nature. Though existence itself is under siege, Freedom Force cannot forget its oath to protect this fair city. It is honor to encounter such a worthy foe once again. The most illuminated one, known as Entropy, has somehow brought us to this place. How is such a miracle possible? We cannot know. But when we do not know the will of the Celestial Emperor, we must use own best judgment. Own best judgment advises a destruction. With those elementals, Red Sun will be able to burn down the whole city. Stop them, Freedom Force. Say goodnight, Shuckles. You have bested me with honor. What is it you wish to know? You've done it! Red Sun is defeated! I am defeated by my betters. Red Sun can hear the lamentations of his ancestors cursing the day I was born to besmirch their noble...
You get to make a speech when you win, Flame Brain, not when you strike out. All right, Freedom Force. Since man bots refuse to play for my team, and since y'all seem dedicated to getting in my way, I guess I'm gonna have to get more creative. Look at that! That worked out even better than I expected! <laughs> Nature, protect us! When those two creatures get close enough to each other, they meld into a monster more powerful than both put together. Freedom Force, you may not be able to fight many of those creatures, and the explosions that create them will devastate the city. While you're fighting these menaces, try to keep them away from each other. May Gaia grant us strength. Time for action! Right makes might! Here we go. This time, the last of Entropy's creatures has surely been destroyed. Now, I've been very patient. I've suffered the scorn of an ungrateful man and the wrath of a very jealous woman. And frankly, I'm just about fed up. Now you might have noticed that people have started to disappear. <laughs> Although I do take a measure of responsibility for that. That's what happens when realities collide. But frankly, don't you think this crowded old world could use a little more breathing room? Alchemist, you must! I, I'm sorry. I just hate being interrupted. The world is going away, Manbot. People are going away. And it will be as if they never existed. Eventually, there will be just me and you. And you know what? I've just decided to speed the process along. Make up your mind, Metal Man. It's not nice to keep a girl waiting. What is it, old friend? Even in that suit of yours, I can sense that your heart is heavy. This is all my fault. So many of Freedom Force, gone as if they never existed. The very citizens of Patriot City, disappearing. If Alchemist, if Entropy had never brought me back, then this... This apocalypse never would have occurred. You're wrong, Manbot. You can't blame yourself for... For what? For the death of my brother? For the end of the world? Only a fool closes his eyes to the damage he has caused. And I've been a fool far too long. Freedom Force doesn't suffer fools, Manbot. And you're no fool. We'll stop entropy. How? How can you stop someone who can change the very fabric of reality? <clears throat> Actually, I think I know the answer to that one. But I guarantee you guys aren't gonna like it. I still can't believe we're doing this, Ant. The very concept is insane. If somebody has a better plan, I'm all for it. But since I'm not so crazy about the whole ceasing to exist thing, I don't think we have a lot of options. While what Ant has proposed is profoundly disturbing, his reasoning is sound. Our computing devices tell us that entropy is constantly moving in and out of reality. As she does this, she leaves behind holes in the space-time continuum. I have outfitted you with devices that can detect these holes. If you can send the correct temporal signature through them, the resultant time wave will likely instantiate Time Master himself. And this is a good thing? In the non-crazy world? No. In this world, yes. Time Master may be our only hope to defeat entropy. <laughs> What is this? Summoned from my slumber in the time stream? By you? 
such a transgression will not go unpunished. You must help us defeat entropy, Time Master. It is mankind's only hope. Time Master answers to no man. Now you shall die for your presumption. No! Our plan has backfired! Now we face our two greatest foes at once. Front and center team, it's time to... Um, Tiny? Who is this nut who dares address Time Master? You're a smart guy, aren't ya? This insect questions the intelligence of one who can bend the will of time itself? Do you not know that... Duh, it was a detorical question. And being such a smart guy who knows all about time streams and that kind of stuff, there's no way you couldn't know who Entropy is. Time Master is fully aware of Entropy. How could one such as I not be? Really? Then aren't you wigging out? Wigging? Now, I don't know much about science, time streams, and all that kind of stuff. But if I can figure out that Entropy's very existence is going to make the universe pretty much cease to exist, then why wouldn't a big smarty pants like you figure that out? Smarty pants or not, you're part of the universe. Time Master will destroy you for your impudence, tiny insect. But I shall postpone your destruction to a time of my choosing. For now, we have a common foe. And woe to her who tests the wrath of one who commands time itself! What? Who could possibly have the power to yank me out of the time stream against my will? Who but the very source of your stolen power? Time Master himself! You cannot possibly stand against my superior knowledge. I have locked you into a single timeline, so you can no longer escape with impunity. But I can still multiply myself over time. Hey, I remember that trick. Didn't you do that one shortly before Freedom Force humiliated you the first time? While you're dragging out yesterday's playbook, Entropy's got a whole batch of new tricks up her sleeve. <laughs> Let's see what fun chaos can bring. Short Doom! My timing Killable. is perfect! Santa Maria! You are powerful, but not as powerful as I. And now, it is time to pay for your insolence! You need to learn a new tune, Time Slime. That one's getting tired. No! But you can't! Which is exactly why I can. Or aren't you getting this chaos thing yet? Can't let this happen! Must flee through time! Hey, no fair running away! And I was just getting warmed up! Freedom Forces played their final card, and they just busted. It's time for entropy, and nothing's going to stand in her way. So what's it gonna be, Shadow? Are you gonna stand by me, or kneel before me? Alchemist. Alchemist is dead. I'm sorry to hear that. I liked her a lot more than you. Think of it, Ted. Together, we can rule the universe. Together, we could... You know, Entropy, you do have one thing in common with Alchemists. Yes, and what's that? You both don't know how to take no for an answer. Pretty witty for a walking teapot. Now let's see what else you've got in that suit. As his former friend's strength grows, Manbot realizes the terrible truth of the perilous power of entropy. Her very existence tears at the fabric of reality. And as reality breaks down, the people and places of planet Earth begin to disappear. Worse, they never existed at all. Manbot, listen carefully. I cannot maintain my mental presence in this timeline for long. Where are you? Reality has nearly completely dissipated. 
It is only through the use of all my powers that I've managed to maintain a handful of your comrades in that reality. They are on their way to join you. And you? I no longer exist in your reality. I can maintain this mental projection only with the greatest of effort. So, all hope is lost. Ceasing to exist has freed me from certain preconceptions I was bound to in my physical form. Entropy is capable of wielding unimaginable power, but even she has her limits. But there is one who is more powerful, one who has no limits. Who are you? This is no time for humility, man but. You have never tapped the limits of energy yet that dwell within your metallic prison. You must free yourself of all restraint. You must allow yourself to realize your potential. For it is that potential alone that can stop entropy. But how? You must confront entropy and channel everything within you directly at her at point-blank range. If my calculations are correct, the blast will weaken her, enabling you to meet her in a fair fight. The distraction will also allow me to instantiate several team members to help you destroy entropy. Destroy her? But this is no time for sentimentality, Manbot. Alchemist has ceased to exist. The universe is about to share her fate. There is something else. If entropy is destroyed and the world restored, you will return to the celestial clock. Yes, I understand. If only there was another way. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Must remove all barriers. <laughs> This is our only chance team, for freedom! Stay away from me! I'm warning you! She's weakening! Keep pressing, Freedom Force! Sorry, I have to do this! be more powerful than Alchemist, but she had something you don't. Friends. Friends who could have told her that no power is limitless. You never held back, and now you're drained. And now, if I release a full burst of Energy X while you are in your weakened state, perhaps even you could be stopped. Could you fools not see what you've done? You've cleansed the world of all those who could dare challenge me. And now, nothing stands between Time Master and his revenge. Death to Freedom Force! Keep him away from Entropy. If he reabsorbs her power, we'll never be able to defeat him. I'll feed some of my Energy X into the rest of you to give us a better chance. I have to do this. Keep that overgrown grandfather clock away from entropy. We've done it. Time Master is down. Now to put the temporal shackles on him so he'll be unable to time travel away. Are your minds so flaccid you can only think in three small dimensions? One who bends the power of entropy at will can exist at all points in time. While I lie prone and weak in this moment, I am simultaneously at the peak of my abilities as I was before you meddled in my affairs. Must. Get. Up. Can't. Let. Time. Master. By drawing upon Entropy's power, I command not only the fourth dimension of time, but the fifth dimension of the countless alternate realities. And I can make you suffer 
in all of its infinite possibilities. With her as my vassal, I am unstoppable. Hey, time slime. Hands off the metal man. He's taken. Why, look at you. <laughs> all this time, and I never knew how damn handsome you were. What? But I thought you were... Insane. Mad with power? Mm. I am. I can feel entropy trying to come back fighting against me. But seeing Time Master hurt you like that brought something. Brought the real alchemist. The real me back. But I can't stay. Entropy's coming. You can fight her. No, I can't. And you can't fight her and Time Master together. So there's only one thing for a girl who can control the very nature of existence to do. What? Alchemist. Catherine, you, you can't. And that's to make it so I never did exist. No. Stop it. Well, I can. Foolish girl. Oh. But don't worry. You won't be able to miss me. Because I never will have been here. No. 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 Madre de Dios! What's going on here? The reality stream has been restored. We've been brought back to our own dimension, along with the rest of Earth. Mentor. Time Master. My cortical suppression power will hold the fiend at bay until we can get him into the temporal tank at the Freedom Fortress. What did you do to stop Time Master? I... I... Don't know. It's as if something incredible happened. As if somebody saved us. But I can't recall who. At least we're all safe, and everything's back to normal. Right. After seeing how things work in the 1960s, me and me mates are ripe ready to go back to World War II for a little peace and quiet. We are safe indeed. But I cannot help but think that all is not as it seems. It is as if the puzzle of the world has been put back in place, yet a vital piece is somehow missing. Oh, where, where am I? I thought I was, thought I was. Hey, where am I? Come on, Stretch, start making with the answers. Of all those granted the gift, you alone have surprised me. A gift of what? Oh, you mean superpowers? Indeed. How predictable your kind has proven to be. The evil use the power for evil, and the good for good. But you, you are something different indeed. You didn't break the rules, you changed the rules. Enough about me. Mind telling me who you are? Me? I thought that would be obvious to one such as you. My dear girl, I am Energy X. Come again?